Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Trainer. So, what today's video is going to be cooking with your boy, Junior, all right? Cooking with your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, a.k.a. Chef Boy RG. We about to get this damn thing cooking, okay, all right? Okay, you guys, so what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be making a high-protein, low-carb pizza. Why is it high in protein? Because the protein you're going to be getting out of this pizza is about 221 grams of protein you're getting about 28 grams of carbs and you're getting 31 grams of fat and all together it's going to be only 1341 calories out of this whole damn pizza that we about to be smashing it's my cheat day so i was like you know what I'm, i want to you know have me a little pizza see what's going on and so when i seen this i was like oh hell yeah i'm about to go ahead and get this thing hooked up, smash it up, and I just made my little tweaks on it to where I can make it even lower calories, high in protein, and still be able to get the good satisfaction of having a nice banging ass pizza. Okay, so like I said, high protein, low carbs. So I'm gonna be showing you all the ingredients that we're gonna be using right now, all right? Okay, you guys, so right here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making the crust. So the crust in itself is only gonna be about 466 calories, all right? 14 grams of carbs in the crust, 62 grams of protein, and 15 grams of fat, all right? So we're gonna be using two of the eggs, a whole block of the cream cheese, and a cup of the Parmesan cheese, all right? And that's pretty much gonna make up the crust. And and if you hear that little sound in the background noise, that's actually the microwave. It's uh, de thawing my uh, ground sirloins that I got going on. And pretty much I'm using that for my meat. And for the meat, since I'm using the 97% lean, it's only going to be about 560 calories. And with that, zero carbs, like 16 grams of fat and 96 grams of protein. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. So pretty much what you do is you use two of the eggs one ounce of the cream cheese that's one block of the cream cheese and you use a cup of the parmesan cheese you put that in your mixing bowl stir it all up and i'm gonna stir it all up get it going and you guys are gonna see what it looks like right now all right okay you guys so i finally got it all mixed up you know what i'm saying here is the dough that we're gonna be using pretty much it's all just made of uh cheese and eggs like i said you're using a cup of the parmesan cheese you're using eight ounces of the cream cheese pretty much was just, which is a whole block and notice i got two of these because when i make my sauce which i'm going to be making out of uh walden farms barbecue sauce which is zero calories i'm going to put a little bit of this in there which is going to thicken it up and the main reason i'm going to use this is because it's super low in calories if you see the macros on it it's only 30 calories per serving for uh pretty much two tablespoons pretty much is all i'm really going to need you know what i'm saying so it's going to be a very low calorie sauce that i'm going to be using now notice see this looks kind of you know what i mean but when you put that in the oven, what's going to happen is it's going to thicken up and because of the eggs, it's going to rise up. And then over here, I got my 13 by 9 inch pan. So I'm going to put this, uh, this damn crust sauce, whatever the hell you want to call it, I'm going to put it in the pan. I got my oven preheated for 350 degrees and we're going to go ahead and hook this up and I got my sirloin steak. It just got done, finished uh, de -thawing. So I'm actually going to cook that up right now. Once I cook that up, you guys are going to see how I'm going to be hooking that up because I'm actually going to be marinating that in the sauce. And then after this gets done, I'm going to put the, the marinated uh, ground steak onto the crust and it's going to be hooked up now when you put your crust in here make sure you put it in nice and even and then you're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes okay you can either put it in pretty much for 30 minutes or until it's kind of like a nice golden brownish color take that mug out and then you want to start putting your sauce on it okay so i'm gonna put this in here and i'm gonna let you guys see how it's nice and evened out real quick Okay, you guys, so I finally got it all smoothed out, looking all nice and pretty. And just so you know, before I put it in, I lined it up with some extra virgin olive oil. I just put a little coat on there. You know what I'm saying? Got it nice and greased up. And then I went ahead and put the little uh, batter in there so, you know, it won't be all sticky and all that kind of stuff when it goes to get finished cooking and stuff like that. So now i put it up in this mug. I already got the oven preheated at 350. And uh, for those of you who have seen my other 
<laughs> cooking with Junior show. Man, this oven, like, dude, as soon as I put this on, this mug was already blazing. So this mug will probably be finished in, like, maybe 20 minutes. And over here, I got my ground sirloin. So I'm actually about to cook up the ground sirloin right now. Once I cook up the ground sirloin, what I'm going to do is, okay, I got my, all my little liquid aminos. I got all kind of crap in here. But I'm about to use this right here because y'all know I'm up into the Walden Farms if you see my video I got the Walden Farms original barbecue sauce and if you want to see the macros on this BAM zero everything zero calories zero fat calories zero fat with the with the woo it's got 210 grams of sodium but I'm not tripping on that just because you still need sodium a lot of people be tripping on the sodium like oh man sodium's bad for you shut up no it's not too much sodium is bad for you, but then again, too much of anything is bad for you. But like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up this ground sirloin, I'm going to marinate it in this, and then I'm going to thicken up the sauce by using a couple tablespoons of this cream cheese, and it's going to be all hooked up. By the time this is finished, the crust should be finished. So as soon as I get done cooking this up, I'm going to show you exactly what the finished product is going to look like. Well, it's not going to be finished, but it's going to be damn near close to finished, okay? See you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I finally got the ground sirloin done, if you can see what's going down. And just so you guys can see what I used on it, I used this uh, uh, Weber Gourmet Seasoning, salt-free bur burger seasoning. It's pretty damn banging. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. Let me see uh, if you can see the macros on it, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, very macro-friendly, zero sodium, all that good, zero calories, no salt, but it has uh, garlic, onion, brown sugar, sugar, chili pepper, uh, rice concentrate, tomato, red bell pepper, all kind of stuff. But man, this stuff is some very, very good seasoning to use on your beef if you have not used it before. So, you know, go check it out. And it's actually pretty cheap too. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna put this into the mixing bowl. Then I got six ounces of that barbecue sauce. I'm gonna pour it on there, get it nice and uh, stirred up. And then depending on the consistency of the thickness, I'm going to be putting a little bit of the cream cheese in it. And pretty much you can make it as thick as you want. You ain't got to be all like, uh, oh, it's got to be like this. I mean, pretty much however thick you want it to be. It just depends on your, uh, just depends on uh, what you want. Okay, so I'm actually about to hook this up, putting the ground beef into the mixing bowl. Mix it with the sauce. And then as soon... As this crust gets finished, you see it's actually rising right now. Then I'm gonna be putting the sauce with the beef on the crust. It's gonna be all hooked up. I'm gonna let you guys check it out. Okay, you guys, so the crust finally got finished and as soon as I got done with the sirloin, uh, the sirloin sauce, the crust was pretty much finished. You see it's a nice little golden brown, a little crispy on the edges, but I'm gonna be chipping it off to get the whole pizza out to put it on like a nice little pan and you notice how I got the sauce right here man I tasted it oh my goodness straight banging and I actually used uh, two actually I used three tablespoons of the cream cheese to make it nice and thick because I like my sauce really thick and uh, pretty much it only came out to about 45 calories uh, with the cream cheese so uh, I'm about to get this spread it over this and once I do that I'm going to take a bag, fat-free mozzarella cheese. And the thing with the fat-free mozzarella cheese, if you look at the macros, it's super macro-friendly. Only 45 calories uh, for a fourth of a cup. I'm going to use the whole thing. And the whole thing is actually going to total out to about 315 calories. It's about 63 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and zero fat. All right, so I'm about to put the sauce on here. Once I put the sauce on here, I'm going to spread the cheese on here, and I'm going to let you check it out before I get all finished up with the pizza, okay? Okay, you guys, so here's the finishing touches. I actually used a bag and a half just for the simple fact is I love extra cheese on my pizza. So what that did was it brought the calorie count to plus 150. So, like I said, the total calories with just one bag was like 1,341 calories. So now my calorie intake is only going to be 1,490 calories, which is still a banging ass, uh, a banging ass little uh, thing right there. Because, like I said, 
still not increasing any carbs, still not increasing fat. Well, you are increasing the carbs by about seven. So instead of 14 uh, grams of carbs of the cheese, you're going to be getting about 21 grams of the carbs. So altogether, you're probably, probably going to be getting about uh, 35 grams of carbs for the whole pizza. All right. So about to put this in the oven. I increased the temperature to 425. I'm going to probably have it in there for about 10 minutes. Let the cheese get all nice and bubbly on this mug. And I'm going to show you guys the finishing touches when I get finished. All right. Yo, what's up, y'all? Man, yo, I almost forgot to hit y'all fools up, man. Like, as soon as I took this thing out the oven, I was like, yo, let me damn try this. And holy damn, man, this thing was friggin' super banging. It's friggin' super hot, though, man. I was like, damn, I picked that thing up. I damn scorched my damn fingers, man. I was like, damn, I'm retarded. But, dude, it comes right up. Put it on a little sheet. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, if you want, pick it right up. You know what I'm saying? Eat it like a normal pizza. Uh. Woo. Yeah, this thing's still damn hot. I tried to let it cool off. But, yo, this thing is super banging, man. And, uh, shoot, I don't know, man. I don't, I, like, I guess it's from the eggs and the cheese, uh, the Parmesan cheese and the, the cream cheese. Dude, this crust, dude. Holy damn, man. This crust is like something else, man. This crust is something else, though. But, I'm very glad that I made this for you guys to be able to show you guys what was up. And, uh, yo, man, if you guys need, like, a high-protein, low-carb snack that's going to be satisfying, be fulfilling. And I'm talking about, dude, you can smash this whole thing. You're only getting 1,300 calories, man. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, if you get a regular pizza, especially you get a medium pizza, you get a medium cheese pizza, 250 calories a slice, uh, eight slices, bam, that's 2,000 calories. You didn't ate up 2,000 damn calories. Where, where you eat this, and you're only going to be eating up 1,340 calories. You dig? So, uh, man, I don't know. I'm going I'm to smash this whole damn thing right now, because especially since I haven't really ate too much today. And, uh, yeah, it's going down. So this is going to be the finale. I'm going to uh, send you guys out right now, okay? Yo, so it is your boy, cooking with your boy, Junior. Made this banging ass pizza. This thing is off the damn chain. You see this damn thing? Mmm. Holy damn. Mmm. Yo, I'm gonna smash this whole damn thing. And what really sets it off is the damn crust. That damn cream cheese, Parmesan cheese crust. Dude, everybody should be on that right there, man. All these little companies, man. Y'all need to get on that damn thing. This thing is damn banging. And like I said, super low carbs. Okay, so I hope you guys like the video. If you do like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And make sure to hit up my sponsors. Hit up my sponsor, RSP Nutrition. Hit up my sponsor, Lions Life Aesthetics. Hit up my sponsor, Determined Records. And if there's anybody out there in the Tucson, Arizona area, you need any artwork done, need any ink, uh, make sure you hit up my boy Levi over at Tattoo Avenue. He'll have you guys hooked up, all right? So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, holla at your boy. I swear, I swear. Just wait up behind it.